Rufus Hankey, president of Nowcom Corporation, points out that yes, a number of independent dealers have gone out of business, but those that remain have generally gotten a little stronger than before. I would say that the typical independent dealer has probably gotten a little bit stronger only because the weak ones have, have, have dropped. So we've seen uh, you know, a considerable or a fair amount of business, uh, a fair amount of dealers go out of business. I'd say for the last uh, eight months, we've been adding as many dealers to our products and services as we've been losing, uh, which traditionally we grow, you know, 30 percent every year. But uh, you know, we just have been able to maintain, which I suppose in this market is a good thing. Um, you know, what I see happening is the you know the independent dealer body shrinking, uh, or is in the process of shrinking. Uh, and, you know, I think that will, I, I look at that, uh, you know, glass half full if I can because I think, you know, we've been able to luckily hold on to our dealer base and, you know, as a percentage of the, and, and thereby growing our market share if the, if the dealer body size is shrinking. But I think when we come out of this thing, call it, uh, you know, six to 18 months when uh, investors see, see, are seeking opportunities and looking to start new businesses again, you know that those those uh, you know the number of dealers or independent dealers in the nation will start growing again, and you know I think we were we've been kind of fortunate through this whole process. I mean Nowcom has been fortunate because uh, you know we're ready now, and when the market begins to grow again, or yeah, you know, when it begins to grow again, I think we're going to be very well positioned to be able to add a disproportionately large amount of those new dealers onto our platform. Uh, as opposed to them going to our competitors. I, I wouldn't say that there's anything typical in the independent dealer market. So, you know, we've got dealers that are very sophisticated and, uh, um, you know, f digging deep down into the technology and, and know not only how to work our application, but are, but are computer savvy. Uh, and it just goes all the way down the spectrum to, you know, obviously, uh, Com computer illiterate and you know having difficulty oper you know f operating the s the application at all or Windows for that matter, um, but you know we see, I would say a large, uh, you know a good portion of the dealer body resides in in, in the middle there or, or the majority I'd say in the middle where, uh, you know they'll use sixty percent of our application, and uh, you know there are certain components that they won't use right they maybe won't use it for uh, profitability. Profitability tracking properly, or you know, maybe they don't learn how to use the report writer. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's a. I, I don't know that I could say that the you know independent dealer body is typical in any way. How large is that market? Do you think, Rufus? What are your marketing people telling you? You know, I, I've heard from a variety of sources that it was sixty thousand, uh, and. Uh, you know, just a little bit, maybe a little bit over that, 61 or something. But um, you know, that was a year and a half ago, and I don't know where. I haven't heard, and I, I don't know where the market is today. Uh, you know, it keeps. Maybe we come out of this. And I was saying before, you know, pure speculation on my part, but I thought maybe if it drops down to 40,000 or 45 at some point, well, you know, maybe when times get good, that you know, number of dealers will climb back up to 60, and you know, I'm waiting to see opportunity there to, you know, go after those new guys as they come on the market. It's, uh, it's always easier for us to go target a new dealer uh, who's not already well entrenched on a system already that has to go migrate off of one system to another. Uh, the new guys are easier to get than the, uh, than the old guys.